So I have a month free at home now and it's a good time to catch up on a lot of the videos that I've been planning to do. And one of the topics I want to discuss now is do aircraft have to descend to follow the Earth's curvature? I have addressed this previously in one of my very first videos, but unfortunately I'm still seeing regular comments from flat earthers claiming that aircraft have to descend to follow the Earth's curvature. Now it's completely wrong and we're going to take a look at why it is wrong and why there is no descent required for an aircraft to follow the Earth's curvature. So the question is, do aircraft have to descend to follow the Earth's curvature? And the answer is a resounding no. And I've written no in Russian and German and Chinese as well, just to make sure everybody understands that the answer is no. Let's look at what a descent means. What is a descent as it relates to an aircraft? A descent is a reduction in altitude. If we're flying along at 10,000 feet and we descend, we will end up at something less than 10,000 feet. If we start at 40,000 feet, and we descend, we will end up at something less than 40,000 feet. So, that means if the Earth is a ball, a descent means the aircraft is getting closer to the center of the Earth. That's very important to understand that if the Earth is a ball, a descent means the aircraft is getting closer to the center of the Earth. So let's take a look now at what a circle is. And I know that might sound quite obvious, but a circle is a line that is a constant distance from a center point. And the center point in this case is point O. The orange line here represents the radius and the light blue cyan line there represents the diameter. So the circle is a constant radius from the center of the circle. And if we are following this circle, we can go around as many times as we want. We can go around a hundred times. At no point are we getting closer to the center of the circle. Now remember, if we are in an aircraft and we are descending on a ball, the descent means that we are getting closer to the center of that ball. Now, if we're following a circle perfectly, we are actually remaining at the same distance away from the center. So we have a contradiction there. Flat earthers tell us that to follow the curvature of the earth, we have to descend. And yet to follow the curvature of a circle, we are not getting closer to the center of that circle. So you can't have both. To follow the curvature of the Earth, we must remain at the same distance from the center of the Earth. So there's no descending required at all. In fact, to follow the curvature of the Earth, we have to maintain a constant altitude, quite the opposite of what many flat Earthers are telling us. So again, looking at this circle, we know that each point on the circle is the same distance from the center point O. Now, if this was the Earth and we are flying an aircraft around following the curvature of the Earth perfectly, it means we are remaining at the same distance from the circle at all times. And that means the distance to the center point is not changing. So by following the curvature of the Earth, we're actually not descending at all. Because remember, a descent means we're getting closer to the center of the Earth. So an aircraft following the curvature of the Earth achieves this by simply maintaining altitude. There is no descent required. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples that will help you understand this concept. So here is a small model train going around a perfect circle of track. And you can see I've placed a small LED torch at the center of the circle. Now notice 
As the train goes around 360 degrees repeatedly, at no stage does it get closer to the center of the circle. The distance between the train and that LED torch does not change. It's maintaining the same radius all the way around the circle. And it doesn't matter how many times the train goes around that circle, it never, ever gets closer to the center. In fact, the circle is a constant radius from the center at all times. So following a circle, it can never get closer to the center. So the diameter of this model train track circle is 22 inches, and that means the radius is 11 inches. So from any point on that circle to the center, it is 11 inches. It doesn't matter how many times the train goes around that circle, it will always be 11 inches from the center. So you can see very clearly here that the same analogy applies to an aircraft following the curvature of the Earth. At no point while it is flying around the curvature is it getting closer to the center of the circle. It is maintaining the same distance from the center of the circle every time it goes around the full 360 degrees. So there is no descending at all required. Quite the opposite. The way to follow the curvature of the Earth is to maintain a constant altitude. And that is easily achieved in the aircraft by referencing the altimeter and the vertical speed indicator. You can see the aircraft going around and around and at no stage does it get closer to the center of that circle. So let's take a look at how this works on the globe. Let's assume that the ballpoint on this pen is an aircraft cruising across the surface of the Earth following the curvature. Now, obviously, this is completely out of scale. On this size globe, the altitude of an aircraft would be much less than one millimeter if we were doing it to scale. So it is out of scale, but the concept still applies. If we move around the curvature of the Earth, we are following the curvature perfectly by maintaining the same distance above the surface of the Earth. And that means we are the same distance from the center of the Earth, which means we are not descending. We are following curvature by maintaining a constant altitude. Descending is not required to follow the curvature of the Earth. Maintaining a constant altitude is the way we achieve that. So for the last part of this video, I just borrowed one of my young daughter's Lego characters, Stephanie, and we can ask her how long she was waiting for the train to arrive. 